If you have been opening the default dot blend file whenever you're making a GFX and deleting the head, you have done your GFX completely wrong. Let me show you how to correct yourself. So first of all, let me just tell you what happens when you open the default file. A lot of people would tell you, um, see, open a default file, delete the head, uh, delete the face rig, everything. Don't do this. And I know some people may go, this does not apply to me because this is a two point, this is a 2.7 tutorial, but this applies to every single Blender user and every single rig because they all have a face rig when you download those from Matt Roblox. So I'm going to be uh, showing you what happens when you delete the head and the problems that it causes. So already deleting these um, messes up drivers and deleting these as well, it pretty much just gives the booleans no use. Deleting these controllers as well. So basically you just delete the entire face rig and now you need to add back the head and parent it to the control right here to be able to move it with that. But some people just move around the head just on its own in object mode, which is even, it's just even worse. So I'm going to be showing you a better and more time saving way of doing this um, without deleting the head and still having your accessories and even parenting them to the head so you don't need to move everything around individually. This does also apply to 2.7, you can literally use the same shortcuts as I'm using, um, it's all the same, so yeah. So when we go back here, instead of opening default.blend, open faces.blend. And if it isn't there, then um, go to the Matt Roblox channel, which I've linked in the description, and find the video showing the rig you want and download it from the media file link. So just open faces.blend. And right here already, there is no face rig. There's just this switch. And this changes actually the rotation of the head whenever you rotate the torso. Now, um, you guys may be wondering what you need to do, how to add, uh, how to import the accessories, blah, blah, blah. I'll be showing you this. So, um, first of all, for your material on your character, here's what I would do. You don't have to do this, but here's what I would do. So, I would open the shader or node editor for you if you're on 2.7. Press A, delete everything. Then, I would add a image texture. I would connect the color to the base color of a principal BSDF. Um, right here and I connect the BSDF to a material output to surface and I would add my texture right here so right here texture this just makes the material a little bit more realistic than what you get uh, from the default rig so already we fixed the texture for ourselves um, now let's add our accessories so I'm not actually going to import any accessories I'm just going to use a cube as an example so uh, right here once you've imported your accessory, this is just a placeholder by the way, just hold shift and select your accessories and then finally select the head. So make sure the head is the last thing you select. Then press control P and then set parent to object. Now you will see the accessory moves along. You will see this switch actually does not move very nicely. Um, I would say don't delete it, but if you don't like this, and because this might actually slow down your render, I'm not entirely sure, but and slow down Blender, um, you can actually delete the switch and delete the driver. So let me show you how to do that, but that's optional really. So just select the switch in object mode, delete it, select the head control right here in pose mode, go to the bone properties right here. Find this thing in relations called inherit rotation, right click and select delete driver. You didn't have to do this, but it just helps. And uh, yeah, there you go. So that is how you actually save time with Blender. You don't even need to delete the head. And this is actually really quick if I'm not talking so much. And if you guys also find this really, really boring, then uh, I recommend you create a rig for yourself. Um, and then you won't have to go through this process every single time you make a GFX. But if you change avatars almost all the time, then don't bother. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.